Adriana Jimenez here with Match from Box and very own Eddie Hearn. Eddie, uh, we're here in Chicago kicking off uh, the Zone's very first U.S. based card. How excited are you to be able to put great fights uh, on on a great platform for everyone to watch? It's great. You know, you can see by the depth of this card what we're trying to do: three world championship fights, big heavyweight fight, and then Va uh, Vargas against the Law, mate. For the, for the Sean Porter WBC strap after. So it's a stack card. we we'll have a great crowd in tomorrow night. Great atmosphere here at Wayne. A lot of Brits in town as well. And uh, really excited to get underway. 80 fight cards in the year. Only, like you said, first month is free, 9.99 after that. Why is this a must for fight fans? Well, because, you know, we live in a world now where, you know, you talk about pay-per-view fights at $90, $100. Now, this is the home of boxing now. You've got 16 US shows, 20 UK shows. You've got three weight class in the World Boxing Super Series. You've got all of Bellator, all Combat Americas. It's free for the first month. It's $9.99 after. It's less than $2.50 a week. You know, and if you're a boxing fan, it's an absolute must. And, uh, you know, we'll show you tomorrow night. Every fight gets televised. It's not like we come on air after a movie or something like that. Every single fight is televised on the card, and it's going to grow into a huge platform. You speak of this new platform. We just saw the end of HBO. Yeah. And with that, we have Canelo Alvarez. We have Gennady Golovkin, um, Dimitri Vidal. Have you reached out to bring him over to the zone? Yeah, absolutely. You know, we've, talk, we've talked to Golden Boy, and we continue to do so. We talked to Tom Loeffler, and we're in the hunt for those kind of guys. You know, we come in from a standing start. You know, we're not Showtime, we're not ESPN, but we're extremely powerful. We've got bright people involved. We've got a lot of money involved as well. And, you know, we'll be looking to bring those major names certainly to the platform as well. And, uh, we're here in Chicago. I'm from L.A. We have a lot of fight fans in L.A. We want to know if you're going to be uh, perhaps bringing fights to L.A. anytime soon. A hundred percent. Before the end of March, we will be in L.A. And, you know, we can't, we can't wait to go all over America. You know, Chicago this weekend, Boston in two weeks' time. We're going to be on the East Coast with Danny Jacobs against Derevenchenko in New York on October 27th. We'll probably be uh, in Atlantic City as well. And then next year, for sure, LA, we want to be there. We're going to enjoy the sunshine. And uh, we, we really look forward to everybody's support. Talk to me about tonight, tomorrow night's main event, Jesse Vargas, Thomas Dorm. Things got a little heated. How do you see the uh, Mexico-Puerto Rico? I think it's such a good fight because Delorme, as you see from up there, sometimes you know fighters get a chance to go again. And Delorme's got that opportunity. He probably felt like his time had passed. He got a very unlucky decision against Ugas in his last fight. So he looks at this and says, you know, I've just got to beat Jesse Vargas. I'm going to fight for the world title. I'm going to fight against Sean Porter. So... Vargas has got to be on it. You know, he's a two-weight world champion. He's a very good fighter. But Delorme, as you've seen up there, is full of hunger in this fight. And he's going to have his hands full, Jesse, to come through this fight. Someone who also has a lot of hunger is Big Baby Miller. Yeah. I talked sure to him yesterday. A lot. A lot. <laughs> I talked to him yesterday. Yeah. And, you know, he doesn't like your guy. He doesn't yeah, like Anthony yeah, Joshua. Yeah, yeah. He wants him. Yeah, and he's dangerous, you know. I mean, if he's got a chin, which I think he has, he's going to be hard to beat. You know, he's, what, 318 pounds? I had to look in my calculator. That's 20, 24 English stone. And that's huge. There's, there's not a heavyweight that big in the world, let alone who's ranked top 10 in the world. And, you know, he's got a great engine. He can punch. He's clever. So I think he's going to be a real threat. I expect him to win well against Adamek. Adamek's going to have a lot of Polish support here as well. And, you know, it's going to be, uh, it's going to be interesting to see where Miller goes over the next 12 months. I mean, the heavyweight event right now, heavyweight division is making a lot of noise. You have also Deontay Wilder mm. and Tyson Fury making noise with their three-day yes, press yes. Did you see that? What do you think about, what do you make of that? Uh, look, it's, en it's entertainment, isn't it? You know, they don't dislike each other, but they're playing up. And sometimes that's what you have to do to try and sell a fight. And, you know, Tyson Fury and Wilder are both showmen. You know, everybody who knows the guys knows that they're friends and they talk and, but... You know, it is what it is. You know, Conor McGregor's the same. He doesn't necessarily hate all these guys, but it, it is what they do. So, you know, we, we've all been guilty of it in the past, but certainly the beef in that one is not real. But it's a good fight. You know, it's a good fight, as I keep saying, to find out who the second best heavyweight is in the world because our guy stands proud and tall as number one, and hopefully you know, we can fight the winner of that fight. I know Anthony Joshua at the end of his fight uh, with uh, Vetkin, he said he wants Deontay Wilder. Is that is that between uh, Tyson Tyson Fury and Wilder? Do you want Wilder to come out victorious to have yeah. Joshua? It's a voluntary defense, so you have to feel like uh, Wilder has a rematch clause if Fury wins. So it sort of slows down our undisputed fight. So really, although we'd like the Brit to win, if Wilder wins, we can make that fight for April 13. 
And that's what we want to do. You know, Anthony's in the game to be the undisputed heavyweight champion of the world. Even from a selfish point of view, from an ego point of view, for me to promote the undisputed heavyweight champion of the world, the first ever four belt holder in the sport at heavyweight, that's stuff that, you know, you can't buy. No money in the world can ever compare to that, that kind of achievement for me or him. And that's just being selfish. So people say, I don't want the fight. I'm desperate for the fight. Anthony's desperate for the fight. So we'll do what we can as always. And, uh, you know, Anthony's just got to keep winning. He's only had 22 fights. You know, he's beaten Povetkin, Klitschko, Takam, Parker, Dillian White, Dominic Brazil. He's way ahead of schedule and he's getting better and better. Well, I don't want to bring up negatives, but Tyson Fury is uh, maybe um, not a good match for Anthony Joshua in your sense because he's trying to say that he doesn't know what the zone is. Yes, but he knew how to say it. Did you notice that? That was interesting. Uh, trust me when I say it, Tyson Fury knows what the, the zone is. But, you know, it was good to, to hear him calling out the name. And, you know, the more people that are aware of this platform, the better. This is a platform built for fans, by fans. You know, we're building this from the ground up. We're trying to give you unbelievable value for money. And tune in tomorrow night to, to Worlds Collide Card. And I promise you, you'll get unbelievable value. It's 10 fights on a card. You get to see every one of them. You know, it's not coming on halfway through. And, you know, this is, this is for the fans. And I know the fans love to see every fight. They love to get value for money. And that's what we're going to try and deliver. I want to see if, if I can get an update from you, another card for on the zone that we were looking forward to seeing. Um, we're a little unsure what's happening with um, the unfortunate news of Billy Joe Saunders uh, against his fight with Bubu Andrade. Is that still on um, plan? Yeah, so next Tuesday, the Massachusetts Commission will decide whether or not to license Billy Joe Saunders. If they don't license him, he'll be stripped and Andrade will face the next available challenger who's already committed to the fight from Africa, 19-0, 18 knockouts for the world middleweight title. So we know what we're doing, we're waiting on the commission. We can't do anything. You know, Billy Joe's got his arguments why he should fight. The commission will have their arguments, VADA, WADA, UCAD, whatever. But ultimately, decision day will be next Tuesday. I would say it's 50-50, to be honest with you. For us, the important thing is that Andrade fights for the world middleweight title, and uh, that will happen in Boston October 20th. That fight. Okay, that's what we were wondering if that fight was going to happen. All right, great. Um, and just a message to all the fans to make sure to download the zone. Yep, don't miss it. First month free, and then 9.99. Give it a try. One month free, and you'll see some great nights of boxing, some of the biggest stars, non-stop entertainment, and a great way to watch via the phone, by the tablet, on your big screen. Just all-round content. World Boxing Super Series coming from Japan as well tomorrow. Um, and next week, our show in the UK. Bellator next week as well. Then our Boston show. You know, it's non-stop action on the zone. So make sure you subscribe. Got it. Thank you, Eddie Hearn. Thank you so much. Sure.